Straight, square, and smooth. I can hear my shop teacher saying that today. That's what he used to say all the time, and what he really probably should have been saying is level, plumb, and square. And although he taught us a lot in class, the real learning happened on the job site, and I still continue to learn each day. Kind of like when I was apprenticed and I was sent on a fool's errand to the trailer to come back with a liquid magnet. Not, I didn't want to come back empty-handed, so I came back with a magnetic strip level. I was thinking liquid, magnet, come a long way since then. Levels are an important part of my industry and a lot of a lot of the trades use them as well. And I use them in every phase of the remodeling and construction process. And it's probably why I even call my newsletter on the level. These are spirit levels. And this level, the spirit level, was invented in 1661. And later they called it a spirit level. And it's probably because they used mineral spirits as a solution inside the glass vials. Early spirit levels had a very slightly curved uh, glass vial and they filled them with colored mineral spirits or alcohol, which left a bubble. And the reason why they used alcohol or uh, ethanol was it has a lower viscosity and surface tension, which allowed the bubble to travel back and forth through the tube quickly and settle accurately with minimal interference with the glass surface. And also alcohol has a much wider temperature range than water say, because um, it, it, wouldn't, it wouldn't freeze or expand and break the ice. I've had, uh, I've had the opportunity over the years to use many different brands of levels, and the two common denominators or the two features that are the most important are accuracy and durability. They're the most important to all of us, I think. Recently started looking at these Empire levels. They're the E55 series. It's an I-beam constructed spirit level, three sizes, 24, 48, and 72 inches. Empire has been around for almost a hundred years and has been a leader in innovation with levels and layout tools, earning our trust, loyalty, and, resp and respect. Plus, they make this in the United States, USA, with global materials. It's accurate, it's durable, and it's got great visibility. They use high-quality blue-colored aluminum for their I-beam. The levels are equipped with impact-resistant end caps. The construction is nearly flawless. It's beautifully machined and well done. Accurate, I've said that already probably. And they've got these high contrast vials right here. They call it high impact acrylic E-band vials, as well as this white surround, which helps you see the vial better. Empire's E-band vials include a patented blue bands, which they say maximizes the bubble meniscus visibility, and they are accurate up to uh, within 0 0.005 of an inch. And uh, the other feature I like is that it has this top window for overhead viewing, which is really nice. They come in both magnetic and non-magnetic models. Again, 24, 48, and 72 inches. The magnetic models have a really nice full continuous magnetic strip with great power, really maximum holding power, hands-free. And for level or plumbing applications on metal door frames, steel studs, ferrous pipes, and other metal applications. So what's in the future for Empire? Well, this year, or last, I should say last year, they came out with this. This is their first generation product. The next year, or I should say into 2020, 2016, they're going to be expanding into more advanced layout solutions. So I'm excited to see what they're going to come out with. If you think you need a new level, there's an easy, painless way to test. To check your level, just put it down on a flat surface. Mark one end, one end of the level. Make a mark along the side of the level, under the vial in the center. And then take a reading where the bubble is. You can mark either the left and right of the, of the bubble or, or one side of the bubble. And then rotate your level 180 degrees end to end and align the bubble, or I should say the level, with your marks. Take another reading and if your level is accurate, the bubble will be in the same location for both readings. And to test for plumb, follow the same exact procedure up against a flat vertical surface. I've got a level with you here, folks. Empire did a nice job with the E55 series, so you might want to take a closer look at this. I'm Rob Robillard. We'll see you next time. Take care.